Hello, I'm Bromok, and welcome to my f last episode of the f my first season of Red Power 2. This is the last episode of 1.23, cause 1.25 is coming, and there's some settings they have in there that updating existing worlds is going to be a little tricky. Plus, I've recently discovered a mod that I think goes hand to hand with Red Power so well. It's n not a technical mod, it's something else. However, there is going to be some issues with compatibility with Forge. Um, and some other mods in that. It should work, but with uh, 1.25 release of Red Power, not out yet, but they s say a couple of days. Also, there's a bunch of bug fixes and uh, features on this new mod that's coming out in a also in a couple of days. Try to get those two working together well and then start a new series. And because of that, um, actually, yeah, because of that, I really want to do a, a new season with it all t nice, tightly integrated. It's going to be Red Power only. It's going to be my only technical mod. Not going to have computer craft. Not going to have anything else. I will still have uh, Ray's mini mod if it's still compatible. Not enough items is not compatible in certain aspects of it. And so, even though I've used it in the past, I've I freely admit I've used it to cheat, and I don't want to do that. So I'm going back to craft books, and I was hopefully the quick books was also there. It's not there. So it's going to be not as easy to use, but for the recipe information, I'm still going to at least have some things in game for it. But the recipe books kind of fits with this other mod. I'm kind of keep it under wraps. If you follow me on the forums, you kind of guess should already know what that other mod is. But I want to kind of leave it a surprise. This combination actually makes it me feel like a, a certain uh, franchise that started 20 years ago. It was a great franchise. And so, I feel the combination is correct. But I'm in my Terra base my earth base, which was going to be my full strip mining, which I've already kind of started. Over here. Which also has my... I was coming up with a full system that I can do a eight cluster of four blue electric furnaces. So, the explanation on how to do that. First, you will need a 9x9 nine nine room. I've only really cleared out um, a 9x9x9 nine by nine by nine by nine room. So I only really cleared out a 9x9x4 nine by nine by room with some 5th, because the input piping has to be along the 5th line. This are tubes, sorry, pneumatic tubes. This actually allows it so that you could have along this way along this way so you can have all of the all of the furnaces equidistant from the input filter you put stuff in here and each click it will actually grab it come on grab it why aren't you grabbing it? I 
have no idea. Cobblestone should be grabbed. Oh, no, I put filters. Because I want, only wanted one at a time. So... There we go. Going along the output, or the input, you want to make this all equidistant. So a 9 by 9 room will actually allow you to have 8 clusters of 4. 4 on the first level, 4 on the second level. I was planning to build this out as necessary. So right now cobblestone goes in and smooth stone comes out. Let's see. Next smooth stone and there you go, we've got a little smooth stone. So this makes it perfectly viable to have the eight clusters of four. And for more ex explanation, the input is, if you're facing the furnace, the input's on the left side, the output is on the right side. So you have the filter f going in equidistant. It has to be equidistant, so that, that way it'll do a round robin until everyone is filled. Then over here I have a retriever that's just set on, you know, it grabs everything that it can. It's on a sequencer. Not, not a timer. I found out that timers have a bit of an overhead, so it's a sequencer. Unless you, you know, unless you need to control it, is the best thing to use. So, I'm going with that advice and seeing how things work. So that's how the, f the furnace is, my terror base. Now, what was I thinking? So now I have my uh, furnace set up. I was fully expecting ha to have to uh, expand out here for this, but new information came, and I have actually decided on doing this. I Honestly, I was tempted just from a building perspective to add equivalent exchange. But it doesn't seem the actual the correct theme. I'm still in debate about that. I might add it later. Because you know frames would actually probably help with my building because it can I could have it move platforms and have a little crane to move me around and actually build things up in the air. That would be cool. And there's some things that in equivalent exchange that allows me to fly so that I can actually do the, the building. So and. This is all powered by thermal, uh, five thermal piles, or thermal couples, what is it? Wee, I'm underwater. Um, uh, I can't remember what it is. I think it's a thermal couple. And then, you know, battery backup make sure we have enough battery power so when the forge isn't running when the oh, furnaces aren't running forge why am I still calling it forge I got forge on the brain because of that compatibility issue uh, when, the, when the furnaces aren't running we just store up the power Restore up the power? 
Maybe we store up the power, I don't know. Um I don't want to find out if I if it's already converted to obsidian because there's a, there's a lava source block in the middle of all of this. I guess there's one way to find out. Oops. That's not what I wanted to do. Oh, what do I care? I'm not coming back. But actually I might come back someday. 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 Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Okay, it is charging up. Okay. Um, so, that's what's powering that. I'm actually way down. If you notice, Unraised Minimap, I'm down at level 11, which apparently is just right at the uh, lava level. For my Terra Base. Now, I'm going to go upstairs as the second part of this. Um, I'm actually going to do this non-edits. And as you can see, I've actually been talking the whole time. I'm a little bit impressed and hope I'm coherent. Uh, that actually kind of makes the next series a little more enjoyable to use. Because I do have to admit, oh, that's a pretty little... Is that sunset or sunrise? Good, that's sunrise. Uh, back t because I've noticed for those who aren't partners on YouTube, you can't easily do full screen and run through a whole playlist. They've reserved that for partners. And one of the things to be a partner is to have at least one uh, video monetized. I kind of hate to do this this early, but since I think my communication skills have improved since I started this, it is a very amazing on how just being able to you know record yourself playing it back, you can see where the things you're doing wrong, things you don't like, and you can actually improve on it. And I'm actually more comfortable speaking while I'm thinking. Even though I might go off on tangents. But I go off on tangents a, a lot when I'm just generally conversating with people. Um, I don't think that's going to be uh, that big of a deal. Um, oh, yeah. Um, no. Uh, original. The... I wanted to make it easier on p people, you know, a, a better experience. That might mean that some things that I have are monetized, but I've got to be a partner for that. And for that, I probably don't have enough views and subscribers for them to make me a partner. It is a lot of the stuff that is there. You know, the tools that's allowed partners, that's just not for normal content creators. I do think it will make for a better experience overall to the peop to my subscribers and new people coming in, like I've done in the past, and just like, okay, play that series, play that playlist full screen. I lay back on my bed, watch it for kind of hours on end. Yeah, I'm kind of addicted to these videos. I'm addicted to Minecraft too. But, 
Okay, yeah, um, some people have come in and other people's players that they should be moving around. Bone and arrow. I might not ever need that. And daylight is burning. Uh, yeah, daylight definitely is burning. So my next thing I'm going to actually show you to do, because this is what I normally do. So I use the nether to go between my various bases quite a bit and just back and forth, back and forth. With the mod that I'm keeping under wraps, although if you, you know, follow me on the forums or notice me on the forums, I don't think you, anyone follows me on the forums, you'd probably know what it is. But I'm not going to need the nether from now on to go from base to base. once all the mods are correctly in place. This is very important for me. In fact, I kind of used the nether f for this before I realized this mod was out. It, uh, it's a very strong connection. So, here's what you do. Yeah, say I want to actually well let's let's go up a little higher just in case daylight stops burning and it becomes nighttime frack So, make it quick and easy. Platform big enough. Yeah, let's make this five wide. That's, I mean, obelisk is four ride, six tall. Now to make a where's my pick? Oh, I ran out of a pick. All right, I'll do it this way. And I've got plenty of obsidian, obsidian to waste. So yes, I could do it in 10, but I'm going to be doing it in 14. Or maybe not. I'll do it in 13. Uh, um, actually, I'll do it in 12. Alright. Now for the c calculations. I'm at negative 544 minus 159. Now I'm going to swap out and actually calculate the nether coordinates, which is you divide that by 8. I'm not that great at uh, actual arithmetic to do that in my head, so I'm going to pause this th thing, do the calculations, and put it in a notepad to show you how and have it where it's at. I've been at 81. That's g there's no uh, div division by 8 there because that's uh, one to y coordinate is a uh, one to one ratio. All right, I will see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back. I said I wasn't going to edit anything, but um, that was actually kind of boring and all you would see was the menu screen and it would be doing anything. Although, however, this is a pretty view. So this might have, you know, been okay to uh, do. 
But so the nether coordinates, I need to actually create a make sure I create a portal at is at negative fifty seven x eighty one y or very close to the y coordinate and negative twenty z. Now when I create this, I am so close to my um yeah, let's I'm so close to my Marker options, marker enabled, terror base, 107 meters, that I'm actually going to come out in the nether, in the terror base, at the ter terror base portal. So that's why when you create it here, you convert the coordinates of negative 454 divided by 8, which is negative 57, and 159 divided by 8, which is negative 20, or they are close enough. Need to remember that. So as when you go through, you can go to that place, create another portal, because I will be coming out of Terror Base's portal. Or Terror Portal. Wibbly wobbly timely thing. Wibbly timely. Oh crap, I can't remember the Doctor Who thing. Anyway, it was wibbly wobbly anyway. See, I'm at ter the Terror Portal. So now I need to go to negative 57. Is it that way? I should have grabbed a pick. Yeah. Negative 57. Do I have any wood? I have some wood. I have some TNT. Let's make this a little fun. And a little dangerous at the same time. Alright. Negative 57. Negative 20. We do kind of want to go up a little. Because I'm at 37. And I really need to be at 81. And I, that, I might be a little too close to... This should be close enough. If it's not, then you really need to do the... Uh, um, get as close to the Y height as possible. Sometimes you can get away with it. One, two... Sometimes not. Depends how close your two locations really are along the z-axis. Oops. Oh, crap. I screwed up. You really don't want to be here for this. Um, actually, hell. Last episode, might as well go into... Cheat mode, controls, dumb. Turn creative mode on. 
Yeah. I am such a cheater. But this is last minute, and I tried to reduce the number of edits as possible, because I think I can actually do this without having to rely on edits and actually start communicating with folks. Alright, I should now come out on that platform that we made above the Terra base. Cross your fingers. And bingo! As if you should have ever have doubted me. Now I go back. Um. And then I'm up here. Terra portal's down there. And that's how you link a portal in the nether. I hope this actually helped you. Hope you and hope the uh, furnace cluster is understandable. I still have plans. I s the plans that I've done before for this series, I still plan to do in the next series. Just might take me a little longer. And I actually have some architectural work that I want to do. Again, fits in the theme of the other mod. Sort of a th the theme that I kind of got to live up to. So, as I found out that the last 20 seconds of the video tends to get lost if you're just playing it back to, you know, things back to back and the users n and the content creator is not a partner, I will just sit here and um, do nothing for 20 seconds. So I'll bid you adieu. See you in my next series. I should have something out within a week. So that is what? Um, April 25th or 26th. So I will see you then. And well, actually, I'll use the last 20 seconds, so it's not completely boring, to travel back to m my first base. And avoid that ghast. There is that ghast. See you, chickens. And as they say, the end has not been written yet.